Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with the gorgeous Charlotte and we're going to show you how to get this rose gold eye with a foundation free glowing skin. I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to start this look by prepping Charlotte's skin and I'm using Rationale's Immunologist Serum. I'm just using a few drops all over the face. I'm going to massage that in and you'll see the luminosity that it brings to Charlotte's skin. It's really glowy. It's got lots of benefits. Uh, I use it personally every day and it's definitely helped with my pigmentation and just helps with protecting the skin from the sun. So the next step is using Rationale Super Antioxidant Serum and again you lay this on top every single day and it will change your skin tone. I promise you I'm obsessed with those two products. So now just bring some hydration to under the eye area using Rationale's Photodynamic Eye Cream and it has SPF 15. Just going to use my MAC Cosmetic brush to apply and then the warmth of my fingers to really melt that into Charlotte's skin. And now we're just going to prep even more by massaging Rationale's beautiful skin with SPF 50 all over the face. And I'm using my Zoeva makeup brush. And this is going to really even out Charlotte's skin tone. Because I'm doing a foundation free look because her skin's so beautiful, uh, you'll notice just how gorgeous and even everything looks. It's kind of like she's wearing a tinted moisturizer even though she's not. So now we're just going to conceal under the eyes and a little bit around the nose and just knock out a little bit of redness there. So we're using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And I'm just buffing that in with a NYX Cosmetics makeup brush. What I love about the combination of these products is that you can wear so little makeup um, and still look really flawless and have even skin tone. That's something that's really important to me when I wear my makeup every day. So now I'm just going to knock out the shine in the T-zone. I'm using Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder and I'm just applying that with a Zoeva 228 makeup brush. So I'm just buffing that into the center of the face. And once there's no shine, we're ready to move on to the brows. So I'm going to apply Benefit's 24 hour brow setter shaping and setting gel. And once that's got all the brow hairs in place, I'll be able to see exactly where Charlotte needs her eyebrows filled in. I'm using Anastasia's Beverly Hills Duo brush just to pop a little bit of the powder from the Pro palette throughout her brow. And it's really important just to brush that through to make the brows look super natural and fluffy. You can see how natural the base and the brows look. So now it's time to add a little bit of color to the cheeks. I'm going to use Rationale's Beautiful Light Super Fluid and it's got SPF 50. Just using a ColourPop Cosmetics makeup brush to apply this product to the high points of Charlotte's face. So the tops of the cheekbones, the center of the nose and the cupid's bow. And then I'm going to pop a little bit under that brow bone also. I'm just tapping it in with the warmth of my finger so you can't see any edges. So now it's time to add a little bit of warmth to the skin. I'm using Rationale's Beautiful Bronze Super Fluid, which has SPF 50. And I'm using as a weaver brush just to apply that to the cheekbones, the temples, a little bit to the jawline. And we're going to just really blend that out. It's a cream product. So I'm coming back in with a clean makeup brush now. This is a number seven It Cosmetics brush. has no product on it and it just helps me disperse that product evenly. Because if you put too much bronzer on it can tend to look a little bit dirty. So next we're going to add a little bit of color to the cheeks. I'm using one of my favorite cream blushes which is Rationale's Beautiful Cheeks Super Fluid with SPF 50. And I've actually popped a few drops into the palm of my hand and then I apply it from there, which is a really helpful way to use it if you're a makeup artist. So now it's time to create the rose gold eye. I'm starting by prepping the lids with Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Rose Gold. And I'm applying that all over Charlotte's lid using my 217 Matte Cosmetics Makeup Brush. So once I've blended that shadow out, the next step is to come in and work on the crease. And I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette, which is typically for the cheeks, but I really love to use it on the eyes also. So just make sure you come in with a clean brush. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Eye Blender brush, just to blend out those edges. Blending's key with this look. And now I'm coming in with Charlotte Tilbury's Bigger Brighter Eyes 
palette and it's in the shade transform eyes I'm using that really light pretty gold shade just on the inner eye I'm working that in and blending out the edges so now I'm going to line the outer edges of the eyes only using Charlotte Tilbury's a classic eyeliner and this is in the shade Sophia this is probably one of my go-to liners for my looks I tend to choose brown over black for eyeliners it's a bit softer and next step is to curl the lashes and then we're going to apply mascara and today I'm using Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara which is one of my go-to's and makes the lashes really really bold, it lengthens and it's volumizing. I'm applying that with my MAC Cosmetics 205 Lash Brush and you can see how pretty this is coming together. So now I'm just doing the lower lashes, just really focusing on that separation. And you see how beautiful that eyeshadow palette looks on Charlotte's blue eyes. And now I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution Lipstick. And this is in the shade English Beauty. Because we want the look to be quite soft, I've chosen not to use a liner today. And I'm applying that with my ColourPop Cosmetics Makeup Brush. So now that I've completed the look, I just thought it needed a little bit more on the eyes. So I'm just coming in with that pinky shade and I'm just putting that on the outer edge of the eye just for a little bit of oomph, a little bit of extra de definition. I'm also going to grab my MAC Cosmetics brush and I'm going to run that under the lash line as well. So this is a 239 makeup brush. And once you've applied it, the next step is just to blend out those pink tones. So this is a Marc Jacobs Beauty, the shadow brush. I'm just using that to clear any harsh edges. And there you have it. This is my rose gold foundation free glowing skin makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.